Hello folks, it's Groggy. This video is going to be a little different than previous videos I've made concerning tropical cyclones. I don't think that any of us ever expected Hurricane Michael to be among the worst to ever hit the Florida Panhandle, and as such, I feel that as a resident of the Florida Panhandle, it's part of my duty to provide a local perspective as to how both the storm has affected me personally and how it has affected my neighbors to my east. So let's start at the beginning. Hurricane Michael began as a tropical wave just off the coast of Nicaragua. Conditions were initially unfavorable for development, but as the cluster of thunderstorms drifted north, conditions became more favorable, and on October 7th, Tropical Depression 14 was named. Later that day, it became Tropical Storm Michael. Rapid intensification ensued, and Michael became a hurricane on October 8th as it moved over western Cuba. While forecasts from the National Hurricane Center called for a maximum intensity of around 120 miles per hour at landfall, Michael continued to strengthen and became a major hurricane on October 9th. The storm continued explosively intensifying throughout the night and reached Category 4 status on the morning of October 10th. The hurricane came ashore just west of Mexico Beach, Florida around noon on October 10th as a 155 miles per hour Category 4 hurricane. The storm remained robust as it moved inland, still being at Category 3 strength as it crossed the state line into Georgia. It wasn't until well into October 11th that it finally weakened to a tropical storm. Michael then moved over to Carolinas, bringing rain to an area that had already been saturated from the rainfall of Hurricane Florence just a month prior. It remained a tropical storm throughout its entire trek through the United States and transitioned to an extratropical cyclone after emerging into the Atlantic Ocean. Michael sped off and later impacted Portugal on October 16th and quickly dissipated. I personally monitored the National Hurricane Center forecasts and various models, such as the GFS, HMON, and ECMWF like a hawk, and planned on traveling to the Panama City area to document the storm coming ashore. However, Due to Michael's unprecedented intensification and protests from my family, I rode the storm out at my house in Fort Walton Beach. The following footage documents the effects we felt from Michael. right here.
needless to say, we got off very lucky. Michael had an intense, tightly wound core, and as such, the strongest winds were confined to a relatively small area. The highest winds felt in my area from Michael were in the mid-range of tropical storm force. The storm made landfall to my east, and as a result, the offshore winds were not conducive to a destructive storm surge. Wind damage was limited mostly to sticks and leaves. The next morning, the power went out at 7.30 a.m., well after the storm had passed. I never thought I'd see the power go out after a hurricane. It was restored surprisingly quickly, so it was only a minor inconvenience. I set out later to the beaches in Okaloosa and Walton counties to see what kind of effects the storm had down there. As expected, minor to moderate beach erosion had taken place. Beachgoers were already out enjoying themselves after a day of hunkering down. Cleaning up the sticks was no problem at all. It only took about three hours. A week later on October 17th, I set out along Highway 98 to Panama City to see what kind of damage they had down there. Aside from a few narrations I'll be providing at certain intervals, the following footage speaks for itself. Here's a CVS pharmacy just outside of Laguna Beach whose parking lot I utilized as a place to document the arrival of subtropical storm Alberto at the beginning of this year's hurricane season. Here's the specific area that contains several potential shelters that I had planned on using in Panama City Beach to document the arrival of Michael, until I was forced to abandon those plans.
With all of that said and done, Michael was a truly record-breaking and historic hurricane. Michael was the first documented Category 4 landfall in the Florida Panhandle. With maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour at landfall, it was also the strongest hurricane to strike since Andrew in 1992. On top of that, with a minimum barometric pressure of 919 millibars at landfall, it was the third most intense hurricane to strike the United States, only being outdone by Labor Day in 1935 with a pressure of 892 millibars, and Camille in 1969 with 900 millibars. And on top of that, Michael was the first Category 3 hurricane to strike Georgia since 1898, 120 years ago. Michael's winds were perhaps its most devastating quality. A peak wind gust of 129 miles per hour was reported at Tyndall Air Force Base shortly before the worst conditions arrived. In Georgia, a peak wind gust of 115 miles per hour was reported at Donaldsonville. Michael produced a catastrophic storm surge east of the storm center. Areas along the Forgotten Coast recorded all-time surge highs. Perhaps the hardest hit community was the small coastal town of Mexico Beach, Florida. The town was subjected to Category 4 force sustained winds with a storm surge of 10 to 15 feet on top of that, all but rendering the town completely unrecognizable. I was unable to venture to Mexico Beach on account of the roads being impassable, but I highly recommend going over to the YouTube channel known as Hurricane Track, run by Mark Suddeth, for some more information on the situation in Mexico Beach. I signed up as a volunteer for Volunteer Florida to have some opportunities to go to some of the hardest hit areas of Florida from Michael. As of the upload date of this video, I'm still on standby, but I cannot wait to get down there to try and help to get things back to normal. I'll include some links in the description box to places that you could donate to help the disaster relief and cleanup efforts that will be taking place for the next several months if you would like. That's about it for this video, folks. Thank you for watching.